what's up guys welcome back this is Dinesh here and in this video we'll work with the checkbox component in Android Studio. Now I've basically gone ahead and created an Android application by the name of checkbox x. So I request you all to create a new application by the name checkbox and once you have created your application next inside the activity main.xml I'll take two components that is a checkbox and the next component will be a text view. Now I'll double click on the checkbox component and I'll give this a name of engineer's dream. Okay. And in this check option, I can either check it or I can either uncheck it. And next I have an ID by the name of checkbox. So I'll leave this unchecked for a timing. Next I'll change the last text text state of engineer's dream. Okay. So we'll basically check the state of engineer's dream, whether it is checked or unchecked. I'll bring this in the center. Now after declaring the checkbox and the text view in XML, I'll define them in Java. So for checkbox, the C is capital and the B is capital. Next, I'll write for text view. After this, I'll link the checkbox variable with the checkbox ID. I'll do the same for the text view. Now, once I'm done with this, next I'll go inside the activity main.xml. I'll go in the text tab and inside the checkbox tag, I'll give this checkbox an on click method and I'll name it check one. Okay. Now, the reason why we are creating an on click method is because whenever the user clicks over here, a click will be registered and we need to check whether at that time the checkbox is checked or unchecked okay now after defining this on click method check one i'll go inside the main activity.java and below the on create function i'll define the check one function So if you're getting any error below view, you can just press alt enter. Now next what I'll do is I'll use an if else loop because using the if else loop, I can basically check whether the checkbox is checked or unchecked. So I'll first write if cb dot is checked. Okay. Now cb is the variable for checkbox. So I press cb dot is checked. So if the checkbox is checked, I'll type text dot set text engineer's dream is checked now if the checkbox is not checked it is going to be unchecked so i'll write down else text dot set text engineer's dream is unchecked so once i'm done i'll go ahead and run this app in the emulator and i'll just wait for the application to run inside this so guys as you can see my application is loaded in the emulator now next if i click on the checkbox you can see over here the text has changed to engineer's dream is checked. If I again click on this, you can see the text is now changed to engineer's dream is unchecked because the checkbox is unchecked over here. So guys, that's it from this video. This was a very simple video in which I showed you how you can work with a checkbox. Now guys, in the next video, I'll show you how you can use two checkboxes and determine which checkbox is checked and which is unchecked. So in the meantime, if you like this video, please feel free to hit the like button and I'll catch you in the next video where we'll try to enhance this application.